realized that while I was sleeping, I jumped from 1 million views to 24 million views. Oh my gosh. Not only had it gone viral, it had gone super viral, and not only broken the record before me, but it had doubled and surpassed. I was all of a sudden waking up to be a record holder and a champion. <laughs> All this athleticism gone to waste. Anyways, uh, don't laugh at that. So, I'm just, <laughs> I absolutely was flabbergasted, y'all. At this point, I start just returning phone calls and, and the kids are getting ready and I look at my husband and I said, hey babe, can you kind of help with the kids this morning? I gotta return some phone calls and something kind of came up. Y'all, he still has not seen the video. <laughs> and he's being awesome super dad because he's taking care of the house and the kids and the dog, right? He's getting himself ready for work. So he's about to leave and take them to school. And I go, hey, babe, so just a quick question. Um, did you happen to check out that video yet? He goes, no, but listen, I'll check it when I get to work on my first break, I promise. I was like, no, 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 no ego wrapped up in this, you know? You just check it out when you got a chance. You know, right? I'm like, I never get these moments to like get him. So I was just kind of playing it up. So I'm like, no, babe, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, just wait a minute. He walks into his work, and he hears my laugh on three different computers. <laughs> he now is thinking that I played a prank on him at work and sent like this funny video to his coworkers. And he goes, what did she do? How did she get y'all's emails? And they're like, who? Like, that's my wife. And they go, this is your wife? <laughs> and he was like, hold on just a second. <laughs> What did you do? I mean, like, that's exactly how the morning went. And I said, well, that video is kind of gone viral, so I need some help. Anyways, um, and I've been talking to BBC and Fox News and CNN and Good Morning America called. Oh, uh, and he goes, are you kidding me? I said, no, I wish I was. <laughs> so that, that day progressed on with like all these people wanting to call and reach out to this new lady a stay-at-home mom in Texas that had a funny video that was sharing this laugh with the world. At about 11 o'clock, I realized I've only had <coughs> one cup of coffee and I'm starting to get nauseous and my day is getting away from me. And so I turn off everything that has a ding and a notification or a little sound, right? I like went to every computer in the house and like my iPhone stuff, just turned it off. And this was the first time that I talked to God about what would happen. And I remember going into my kitchen and I had everything in my mind. Y'all ever like have a conversation with God in your mind already built up and you're just ready to like say the best prayer in the whole entire universe of your life that you've ever said and you're like, this is glory, hallelujah, mountain moment, right? I was about to have one of those with God and instead all I could say was thank you. Over and over and over again for an hour through tears on my kitchen floor, just crying my eyes out, saying, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you, God. And you want to know why? It wasn't because people were seeing me and I was becoming famous and BBC and CNN. Truth be known, I've never even like read or watched anything. They do. So um, I'm, I'm a cool mom. I watch Teletubbies still. Anyways, you're like, that disqualifies you. I know, try to appease me with that. Anyway, so I, I absolutely spent that time just crying out and saying thank you. And you wanna know why? It's because when I was your age, or a little bit younger, depending on where you're at in this room, when I was 14, God gave me a dream. A dream that I was made fun of for having. A dream where it was kind of like Joseph and the coat of many colors. Do y'all know what I'm talking about that story? There's a weird musical you can check out, but it's really kind of not accurate, so don't do it. But the Bible has a story. It's pretty cool. It's in Genesis. Basically, there's this teenager. He has these brothers, and he has this incredible dream that at one point, just like stars, they're going to bow down to him, and he's going to rule over them. And he has this incredible dream that he's going to be and do something great and have authority in his life. As a teenager, he has this dream. When I was 14, the dream is really kind of weird and uh, crazy and it's long to explain. So I'll just tell you this and condense it really quick. The dream that God gave me basically showed me that I was going to fight 
on behalf of people that God absolutely loved and that I was going to be a voice of somebody that would speak truth. And because of that, thousands upon thousands upon millions upon millions would come to know him. And when you wake up from a dream like that, at 14, you've got two things that you can think. Either I ate too much pizza right before I went to bed, which was entirely possible for me at 14 years old. Or God really did put that in my heart and visited me in my sleep to tell me a secret about what I could and would do for him someday. I chose to believe the latter. And on my kitchen floor that day, I believed that God had said, today's the day to see your dreams begin to come true. And all I could say was thank you. Thank you for remembering me. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for looking down and having favor on me. Thank you for opening a door that no man could open. Think about this, guys. Um, what has happened, the kind of platform to this day now, as I stand here, if you go look at that video, there are 165 million views on that video. 